Okay, and on to the first big one that we talked about in your issues, mm. which is dealing with the pianist. Now, Jeremy's not taking this personally <laughs> in any way, shape or form. No. Some of you, again, will know that I think he's a veteran of something like 8,500 auditions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not auditions that he took part in himself, but in which yeah, he still was got the job. people. Yeah. So he really knows a lot about how you need to deal with a pianist. Yes. And I want to separate thing between two different sections. Duetting with a stranger, which is what I did mostly when I was doing audition pianist for various shows, mm. or working with someone. Normally when you're doing an exam, you have at least rehearsed with somebody that you, so it's a slightly different situation, therefore requires a different solution. Mm. If you're work, duetting with a stranger, obviously you get no chance to rehearse at all, so there are certain preparations that you can do that are in your power practice beforehand and this is you practicing beforehand learn to give the speed or feel that you want this is really important so many people when they give a speed to a pianist actually don't give the speed that they're going to do and my advice is don't sing the first four bars mm. or the first four bars of the chorus almost every singer I work with tends to settle into a speed about eight bars in so the advice is to sing to yourself, find the, the bars that have the most notes or the most words, because those are the ones that you'll know how fast mm -hmm. they are, and sing those to yourself to get the speed and the feel. And by the way, if you sing under your breath, you're likely to sing faster. So just be aware of that. Um, I call it map reading is, I want you to start here, I want you to do this repeat, and then at the second time by you go to here. And uh, there are several songs which are really bad examples of that, where you have to start at the beginning, you do three goes round, and then you jump to the second time bar, then back to the first, then to the third, then back to the beginning, and then to the coda. Your map reading has to be really clearly marked, and the idea is you can point it out in ten seconds. Mm. Ten seconds or less. That really keeps things focused. And um, again, school of the obvious, remove any other markings from the music. If you've borrowed a copy from somebody else, take all their markings out. As a sight-reading pianist, I will read everything that is written. And if somebody has put a pause in that you don't do, I'm going to do it. Mm. And it's particularly important if someone else has done it in a different key and they put the chord symbols above each bar. Yes. Mistake. Because I will read them. Mm. Okay, that's the sort of background, those are the concepts. That's the overview stuff, That's yes. the overview. We're now going to go on to the yep. tools. We're stuck into the tools. And this is the real meat of this webinar. Mm. And we have three great tools and then the cycle of nerves, which is absolutely fascinating. So, setting goals, carrying your space with you, answers on a postcard, and the cycle of nerves.